Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start off by wishing all of you fine Burning Dog fans a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and if you don't celebrate, Happy Sunday. <laughs> yeah, this came comes up every time I talk to him because I haven't done those things yet. I thought that was neat. So let's do that. We're going to upgrade those things, since, uh... It seems there's not actually much I can do here right now. So we're going to upgrade Leviathan. Oh, yes. Increases strength and makes new Leviathan Axe skills available for purchase with XP. I will take, uh, Axe Upgrade 4. Can I just say... It's a sad day for your enemies. Oh, that is sick. That is a wicked looking blade. <laughs> Upgrade of Leviathan Axe successful. New skills are now available in the skills tab. What can I do for you? Mmm! Delicious! And back to you? Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, sure. I can do that. That's a lot of hack silver, but I've got a lot of hack silver. Aim carefully. Excellent. But uh what more do you need? Also. Oh shite. That is more money. Fine, I'm just glad that we have this one available now. I was looking through this stuff. Hang on, what was that? And yeah, I guess I'll just upgrade the uh, the one I'm already wearing. Okay, yeah, this is the one I'm already wearing. That's not confusing at all. And it's not up at the top by default. Yeah, let's use up the last of the solid steel for that, sure. Fine piece of work. Yeah, you know, since I don't have the money for the other thing, I might as well do this. I was looking through the stats of all the other ones I had. It got kind of boring. Was there more? Let me think. Man! I mean, okay, maybe at this point the gold filigree is a bit much, but might as well fucking show off, man. This is the most important thing we own. Anyway, screw this guy. We're out of here. Peace! Oh, that does remind me, actually. Skills! Yes, new skills. First of all, returning whirlwind. While well, barehanded aim and press right... Bumper to instantly recall the Leviathan Axe and perform a powerful spinning attack. Huh. Increases the maximum number of targets to five. Yeah, that... I don't know. I mean, kind of the, uh, the specific thing I got at four turns out to be not very useful for that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, whirlwind sweep. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any Leviathan axe attack. Once in new stance, press right bumper to perform a sweeping attack. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Ranged attack. Sure, sure. Oops. Yeah, these ones are already here because of the, uh, the new lightning arrows. Lasting shock. Shock duration increased, by all means. Shock potency 1. Shock arrows inflict more shock damage to enemies. Shock arrows inflict a greater amount of shock damage. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's just different levels of the same one. I was like, well, what the fuck is the difference between more and a greater amount of? Shock damage can be chained between multiple enemies. Hmm. Light arrows cause larger explosions. What's over here? Massively increases arrow damage and melee damage. Hmm. Oh, right, that's for the axe, duh. I kind of like that one. That seems pretty easy to remember. I mean, never mind the fact that it will be di different in combat, but you know. Oh. 
Okay. I'll have to do that after I kill some more dudes. I'm curious about this one. Countering Thrush. Press the right trigger after last second block to counter the attack with a shield slam. Excellent. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. I'm thinking he's thinking that's the path that led him to trouble. being mind controlled by Ares. Ares just sort of conditioned him to go into such fucking bloodthirsty rages when he fought that he couldn't, you know, see that the people standing in front of him were his wife and child. Tears Revenge, a powerful spinning attack against a single target with a follow-up attack that slams the enemy to the ground. Oh my god. Well, that I've got to try. It's not even a heavy one. What was the cooldown on that? Eh, 51 seconds isn't amazing, but... Father, look up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yes, and Sindri just rewarded us by happening to hand us exactly the right weapon. These uh, mistletoe arrows. But we haven't learned the weakness yet. Is this going to be like an accident? Although I suppose that is confirmation if they're giving us fucking mistletoe arrows. It shouldn't be too bad. The enemies ahead! Oh. We each Right, I need to have this up. Let me hit him because I, I don't know. Because the B prompt is interrupting. Fine. Did it. Ah. So just so as we're clear. Oh. Nightmare parasite. As if nightmares weren't annoying enough. It looks like this type can actually possess other creatures and make them stronger. Does the possessed creature have any control over their actions, or are they just trapped in some horrific waking nightmare? Not a very nice thought. Huh. Is that oh, right, there? right, no, you do have to hit the thing with it. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. It's strange, though. That one didn't completely blow up. I feel like this is a... Uh... That crystal! I shot it once, but it's glowing again. Oh, I didn't even look at it. My bad! Uh, okay, the one with the, with the dragon handle. Great. <laughs> oh, hey, it's snowing. We're family. Sure, it's Christmas. Oh, I thought the whole fucking platform was going to fall or something. That is weird. I don't even understand how that works. What? Why? Uh, where's the explosion coming from if it's not consuming the... 
That's not even that deep. The crystal renews itself. Useful. No, it just doesn't even budge. Wow. All right, let's do the thing then. that move? Oh, aim and press. Aim and press. My bad. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah, because otherwise it's just a punch. Alright, I approve of that. Actually, the way he uh, the ripped the thing in half earlier reminded me of... Uh, these nightmares try the har their hardest to possess other enemies, making those enemies a lot stronger. Yeah, it was the, the, the harpies from the classic God of War games. You could uh, use the you know, push button to execute a uh, thing on them at any point, but I think you got less experience for doing that than just hitting them with your weapons. And if you did, uh, Kratos' method of execution was just grabbing them, throwing them on the damn ground, and uh, stepping on them and then ripping both of their wings off with his bare hands. Just, yeah, reminded me of that. That did not remind me of anything, though. Okay, we're back. All is well. Just a momentary hiccup. Need to look into that cable. Ow. Okay, you got that. Honestly, the rage comes back all by itself a lot, so maybe I will just get the experience. crystal just conveniently sitting next to him. I could hear one. Ew. Is the dripping really necessary? I guess it is a liquid. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is getting weirder. Hi, guys!
uninvited from this party. I have a hunch. Hell Shadow Archer. It's like, what are the shadows? It uses ice magic like a thrown spear. It must be one of the Hell Walkers. No, that's no, not over there, yes. Uh, huh? Right, it didn't actually get that one. Right, okay, I wasn't sure about that. Huh. Okay. Is anything relevant out here? Play all this stuff to rest. Let it disintegrate and... I don't know, pass on to the next stage of video game existence. Oh, hey, I didn't even see that here. Wow. enough. That worked. Yeah, I think we're supposed to hit that. Oh. oh, guess not. Now it's stuck on the other side. I was in fact just thinking to myself uh, that it was longer than I thought it was and it was going to squish me. That's a joke. Yes, that's the opposite of what we want, but I'll do that. So they were worshipping this chest, and I found that weird. Come on! We got it to halfway. There has to be a way to bring it down. Well, maybe we can learn something from the past. Look here. Another. These doors are kind of messed this one's up. This called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, wrong one. What's that? Emir. This one's confusing. Ymir is the first giant, and things spring from his body. Not just other dwarves, but winds, trees, sun. Maggots that turn into dwarves, maybe? Then Odin kills him. But where did he come from? He just kind of was, as I understand it. He rose up from the, uh... From the primordial ice. To just be. Oh, serpent men. Huh. His blood became the ocean, his uh, bones became the mountains. I don't know what's up with the armpit thing. So... Sorry, I got distracted. Oh! Oh good, they are the uh, destroyed variety. I guess we have to hit it up there. Doesn't seem like a very good angle for it, but I'll give it a shot. Fire in the hole! I will never get tired of shattering things with this. Well, I'm not in love with this. Let me fix that. and it still didn't uh, heal me fully. Not even halfway. Oh crap, I forgot to show off at the uh, the Sindri store. There are... Uh... Uh, if we stone or kill a possessed enemy, it will force the possessing nightmare out of their body. I did notice that. That's probably too many 
but whatever. Oh, I see. But we'll learn what that says in... Oh. Oh! There is a use for that. That did seem strange to me. Oh, no, no, no. God damn it, brain. That's not the order of operations here. That's exactly where I wanted it to be. Perfect. Still works! No one can complain now. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. When I smash that rune and put the bridge back like this. So I don't forget about the damn rune. <laughs> now that I've just seen that. Oh, boy. Merry Christmas, Burning Dog fans, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Later!